What up, Adrian? Getting everything set up right now. We're getting ready to go live. So today, actually, let me go ahead and start this. Let's see if you guys can actually see me here. All right, all right. All right, here we are. Okay, so here's what we're gonna be doing today. So let me actually get this full screen so I can see myself. All right, so let me back this up a little bit so you can actually see me over here. Okay, so today, baby, today, what we gonna be doing today we're doing some back and chest stuff today, okay? But here's what you guys are gonna need. If you don't have these, then you're just gonna have to modify somehow, some way. We're gonna need a band, pull-up band, okay? This is about the medium size pull-up band. You don't really need this. Most of you guys won't be able to use this anyway with what I'm about to show you, because it'll be too hard, but I like to challenge myself, so I won't be using it. You're gonna need a vest if you got it. Just if you got a vest, it'll just make your workout even that much more intense. So that way you can get more out of this time that we are spending. So my mine is 33 pounds. I actually almost wore two of them today because I have another one that's smaller, it's 12 pounds. And then you're gonna need a dumbbell, okay? You need a dumbbell. And I'll give you guys some ideas for some modifications as we go along. If you don't have a dumbbell, um, you should have a dumbbell, okay? because <laughs> I'm primarily speaking to my clients, so I know that they already have dumbbells because they checked them out on gym. So you guys should have dumbbells. If you got a vest, you got a vest, great. Uh, if you got a band, just so you guys know, I'm doing these videos live. This is really for my team, but I'm doing it live because I feel like, you know what, let's go ahead and share the love with everybody so that way they can do something at home so at least they can work on themselves, do something positive and move their lives forward because it's looking like, we might be able to open up next week based off of what Trump said yesterday. Looking like it look, it's looking like we're gonna be getting back to normal soon. So we may not have to do these homework, home workouts anymore. So, but while we are here in the quarantine, I want to share the love and help everybody else because Desiree and I, both of our missions is always to make an impact in the world. So you guys can thank my clients, okay, because it's really because of them that I am here. So <laughs> so you can thank them for me sharing the love with you. Um, <clears throat> but these are the three things that you guys are going to need today. So when I'm talking, I'm mainly going to be talking to my team today because they're the ones that I know they're going to have this stuff. So, um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do a back and chest. But what I'm going to do so that way we can burn more calories is I'm actually going to throw in a little high intensity move. My clients already know this uh, at the end of it, right? So that way we can increase our calorie burn and burn more calories during this time period. And I'm going to keep this under an hour because I want to throw this up on IGTV too. So, um, so we're going to get started. We're doing back and chest today. So we're going to start off with just getting warmed up. So I want you to grab your dumbbell. If you got two dumbbells, one dumbbell, whatever you got. Okay. If you just got one, do this. Okay. We're going to do some rows with a dumbbell. Do 40 of these real fast. Got two dumbbells, then you can do two at one time. I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm gonna say I'm at 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. I'm somewhere around there, right? Then we're gonna do some push ups real quick, real quick to warm up. So we're gonna do 40 push ups real fast. Now, for those of you guys that still suck at push ups, just do it on your knees, okay? So do them on your knees like this. Just make sure your body's straight. If you're not weak, then just do them like normal, okay? I'm gonna go 40 of these real fast. And then I'll show you guys what we're gonna do today.
Okay, I'm done. I'm sure you're not. So that's okay. Keep going, finish those up. Break it up into sets if you need to. And I'm gonna explain to you what we're doing today anyway. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing today, back and chest, throwing in a little bit of high intensity stuff in there. So here's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? We're gonna be doing three moves, roughly, so first round, three moves, back to back, we're gonna go five sets, okay? So we're gonna be going A1, A2, A3, rest very briefly, and then we're gonna repeat that for five rounds, okay? Maybe four rounds, we'll see how we're doing, time-wise. What I'm saying. So remember, I'm trying to keep this under an hour. So, uh, so it depends on the time. So first thing we're going to be doing is band push-ups, which I'm going to be wearing a vest. So that's going to be adding 33 pounds to my body weight. And I'm going to throw a band on. I'm going to show you guys how to do push-ups with the band on, which you're going to hear me squealing because this is going to make it super hard. <laughs> and then uh, we're going to be going a single arm dumbbell row with your hand like on your couch or something, and then we're gonna be doing some dumbbell jump over. So I'm gonna demonstrate these real fast. So you guys finish up your warm up. So move number one, which I'm gonna put my vest on in a minute, but here's what you're gonna do. So if you have a band, if you have a pull up band, okay, you're gonna take it like this, put it around your back, around your shoulders, and then you're gonna be doing push ups like this on the ground, okay? So I'm gonna be doing that with the vest on. I'm gonna try and do all five rounds like that, but not problem. I'm not making any promises I'm gonna finish all five rounds. <laughs> <laughs> then move two, single arm dumbbell row, put your hand on something that gives you some support, and then you're just gonna be rowing like this, okay? Simple. And then number three, we're gonna take that dumbbell, and then what you're gonna do, so you're just gonna stand it up like this. You can't even see that. Or like this if you got some hops, right? See how it's standing up, you can kinda of see it in the video. And then what you're gonna do is jump over it laterally. I'm gonna have a vest on, so mine's gonna be laying down. So we're gonna go like this. Okay, 20 times on that. Okay, the first two moves are 10, and then the last one's 20. So that's gonna be our three moves. Then we'll take a break, and then We'll repeat it over and over and over. We may have to do four rounds just based off time. We'll see how we're doing, okay? Let me, let me get situated here. I like to make things hard. <laughs> okay, let's get this ball rolling, baby. So move number one, we're gonna go push-ups. Now, if you don't have a vest, if you don't have a band, maybe if you just suck at push-ups, just do 10 regular push-ups, okay? If you really, really suck at push-ups, just do 10 push-ups on your knees, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna get this started now. I'm gonna put this around my vest too, which is gonna make it even harder. And then we're gonna go 10 push-ups. Okay, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, ten. Oh, okay, how's that? Now it's time for rows. Now when you're doing these rows, pull your hand as you're rowing, okay? And if your legs get in the way, you can kind of set, you can set that leg back staggered like this. Put your hand on like your couch or something for some support. Keep your back straight, stick your butt out. I like to tell my people, stick your butt out like a stripper, right? Then you're gonna row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's one side. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now, we're going to be jumping with this heavy ass vest on. So now we got 20 jumps. 
over this dumbbell, okay? So lay your dumbbell down. If you're really fat or your jumps really suck, just put down a pencil or something so you don't trip, okay? I am not responsible if your asses fall down, okay? So be intelligent with your abilities, but at the same time, push yourself, okay? I might actually follow my ass doing this, okay? I got 33 pounds more on my body. Not used to this, okay? I might follow myself. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! All right, baby. That was round one. Get a little drink of water. Make get my water. All right, that was round one. We probably probably only gonna have time to do four sets based off my clock over here. So let's go ahead and get rolling. Your heart rates should be up right now. If they're not, that means you're lifting too light, you're not pushing yourself, and you need to train harder. Train harder, okay? You need to get serious. You're here to do work. You're here to make progress. Train harder. You want faster results? Train harder, okay? Eat better. All right, let's roll. Round two, come on. It's time to get sexy. Let's get sexy, let's go. 10 push-ups, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, 10. Okay, push-ups down. Let's do our rows now. Remember, stick your butt out like a stripper. As you're rowing, when you're rowing, don't pull this way, right? Pull that hand towards your hip a little more and it'll engage your lats more, okay? You'll see what I'm talking about. So most people, when they row, they go like this, right? They're using a lot of bicep. Pull that hand towards the hip. Use more laps, lat to me. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's one time. Now go the other arm. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let me close my blinds. Okay. All right. All right. Jumps. Ooh. 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 Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. If this is easy for you, you're not using any weight. Stand dumbbell up or jump over something that's a little bit higher. So it makes you work a little bit harder. This is high enough for this, okay? For me, six, seven, I think that was seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Okay. Woo! Okay. 
I don't have my heart rate on her monitor. Can't even talk right now. I don't even have my heart, heart rate monitor on right now. Cause I didn't charge it yesterday. But I feel like I'm at least in the 160s right now. Okay, water break. And then we'll start round three. Round three. Those of you that are on right now, when we take breaks, I'm hearing this on Facebook Live. Tag your friends, tag your family. Tag the people you care about. Tag your workout partner that you can't work out with. So that way you can get them working out, get them training while they're at home. Not only is this good for results, this is good for your mental health and your sanity throughout going through this little quarantine, whether it's dealing with your young kids all day or it's just dealing with the stresses of the financial situation that you may be in right now. This is gonna help you deal with that and process those feelings and emotions because when you work out, your body creates what's known as endogenous morphine, okay? Also known as endorphins, okay? Endogenous morphine, okay? What does that mean? That means you get high when you work out. That's why you always feel good after a workout, right? We get high right now, baby. We get high. So, naturally, legally, right? Okay, let's go, round three. So, with that said, a lot of you stressed out right now, I get it. A lot of you got some financial struggles. Trust me, I get it, okay? Our gym shut down. We're not able to produce income like we normally would be, okay? Trust me, I feel it, and trust me, our overhead every month, is more than most of you guys make in a year, okay? Each month, okay? So trust me, we feel it too. <laughs> we just, we just handle it. We just handle stress well, because we know we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay, because we always come back out on top. Okay, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, yeah, feeling that? All right, okay. Best of the rows. Let's do these rows, baby. Let's do these rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, jump time. All right, jump time. Ooh. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Woo! Feel that? Yeah, baby. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Woo! Two more. Nineteen, twenty. Ah, ah. Those of you wearing vests probably know what I'm feeling right now. This vest is next level. Okay, get some water. And then we'll bang out number four. 
And then we'll start our next three. Let's see. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's take a look at what we got next. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Now, if these push ups are easy for you guys, remember find a way to make them harder. Have a kid sit on your back, put your feet up on, on the couch, and elevate yourself to your so you're turning it, and turning it into like a, a decline push up or uh, had somebody hold a dumbbell on your back while you do them, spouse or kid or something. Do something to make them harder if these are easier for you, because I know a lot of you guys don't have these bands or vests. So find a way to make it harder. Wear a backpack, throw some gallons in there, right? There's another way you could do it. Let's do it. Okay, last set of these push-ups. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay. Row time. Row time. Whew. Whew. Now, uh, oh, our next workout may actually be outdoor, waiting for the sun to come out and dry things up. It's been raining a lot, but our next workout is probably going to be at a high school football field and track and stadium. Just keep your eyes out for that. That'll be our next one that we probably do, which will probably be in a couple days. i um, not planning on doing the at home on Friday. I'm planning on doing the outdoor but we'll record that too. Shared that with everybody. So that way they can get their endorphins, get their sexy on, right? Let's go. Rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. One, stick your butt out like a stripper. Two. Three, like a strip. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, rows done. Okay, jumps now. Twenty more of these, and then we move on. Yeah, we gotta move on. We gotta. Get short on time already. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, baby. We burn it fat. We burn it fat. Let's go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Woo! Three more. Eighteen. Ooh, barely missed that one. 18, 19, 20. I think that's what it was. Lost count. Sometimes I lose count whenever I'm talking. Who cares? Okay. Uh, okay. Now, next three. We're going to be going. I'm going to try to do this with my bench on, or my, my vest on, I mean. Single arm. Dumbbell bench press. So, with your dumbbell. Lay in your back. Can you see me? Kind of. Okay. I'm going to go single arm. Don't go fish press like this. If you see my brains, I'm sorry. Sorry if you see my brains down my shorts. <laughs> like this. Okay. Let's give me move one. All right. Then for move two. All right. Where are we at? I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do that with the vest on, but it's fine. I'm going to do it. Number two is going to be a band row. So 
If you don't have a band, it's cool. Get one, Amazon Prime it. Amazon Prime is actually moving a little faster than what they say they are. I just got a shipment yesterday. But if you don't have a band, you could do instead, you got two dumbbells, just row two dumbbells at the same time. Or if you got a barbell at home, row a barbell, okay? But we're gonna do band rows right here. Let me drop this camera a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So what you're gonna do, put this, and depending on the strength of your band is gonna determine what you can do, okay? So this band is pretty strong because it's new. So I'm just gonna need to use my feet. So all I gotta do here is just oh, and I'm rowing here. But you could also wrap this around the leg of a couch, right? The leg of a couch. You could put a chair in front of you. I use chairs sometimes when I'm traveling. And you can put you can put underneath the leg of a couch or a chair. Well, that way, you get the idea, right? We're doing rows. So that'll be number two. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one there. I like how that feels. Because it feels, feels kind of challenging. I like hard shit, if you haven't noticed. I like to challenge myself, which is a lesson for you. Always challenge yourself. Don't just get through the workout. Choose the hardest stuff that you could possibly do. The stuff that makes you struggle. Because that's what's gonna force you to progress the fastest, right? A lot of times when people work out, they do the easy stuff, right? They find the easiest weights, they find the easiest moves, and they do the, you know, a set of 10, they're not really challenging themselves, and they sit on their phone for five minutes, right? They do a set, rest, set, rest. You know, they go work out for an hour, they did like three exercises, okay? If you notice, we do a lot, okay? This is how I train my clients, it's how I teach people, how to train in my books, we move. We maximize that hour. We're constantly going, constantly moving, okay? You wanna maximize your time spent training. So always choose the hard stuff, minimize your rest periods, lift as heavy as you possibly can, always pushing your, your boundaries, trying to do better than what you did the last time, okay? So let's go ahead and start. Single arm row, dumbbell bench press first. I'm gonna turn this way so you don't see my brains. Okay. All right. So let's roll. Oh, now getting in position is gonna be uh, getting my vest on. The most awkward. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other hand. Oof. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So that was the chest portion. Now let's go to the back. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Band rows. One, two. Resist it on the pull. Okay. When it's pulling you back in, resist it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate the third move that we're doing. It's called the running lunge. And for time purposes, we're only gonna do 10 each leg. Normally when I train my clients, we do 20. So if you guys are doing no vest, do 20. Okay, so you'll, it'll probably take you about the same amount of time. So here's running lunge. Come on. Running lunge. Start off, knee on the ground, hands on the ground. I can barely touch because this vest. Uh, hands on the ground. Then what you're doing, you're gonna explode off this front leg. This is your jump leg, okay? You're gonna jump straight up, drive this knee up, and then you're coming right back down into position, right back to start, okay? So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be here, jump, jump, okay? Right back down, 10, 
10. Then we're going to go round two. Okay? So let's roll. One, two, three, four, five. Touch your knee. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? First leg down. Now, if you guys that know me, you guys know my, my right leg's jacked up for me breaking it three times. So this one may not be as smooth. Okay? One, yeah. Two, three, four. Not too bad. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that wasn't too bad. It did feel a little uncoordinated on that side, but that's okay. We made it through. Okay, that was round one. Now, let's go ahead and jump into round two. I'm still sucking wind, but we gotta go for time purposes. So if you need water, Get it real quick. Let's get to work. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that was one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 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 All right. Time for rows. Time for rows. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, All right. All right. Okay. Those are done. Time for running lunge. Okay, I'm gonna start with my shady leg first. Okay, ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Out of all the way. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Woo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Water break. The other thing that's difficult about wearing a vest is that it restricts your breathing a little bit. So you don't recover as fast because you're not able to get as deep a breath. 
which makes it harder, which is why I like it. All right. All right, crazies. Let's go. Let's go. We get sexy. We're gonna make making America sexy again. Let's roll, baby. Let's roll. No more fat Americans. We want fit, sexy, strong, confident, ones that just make people go, mm, mm, mm. turn heads when you walk in the door. Scout. Okay, how are we feeling? You should be sucking some wind right now. If you're not, that means you're not training hard enough. Push yourself, get out of your comfort zone. Here we go, running lunges, running lunges. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, other side, other side, let's go. We gotta burn those calories. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah. Ah. All right, that was three down. Three down. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. You know, it's cool. This is the same towel Desiree was using for her video. She just filmed hers right before me. So I smell her every time. It smells amazing. It smells like flowers. <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, round four, then we move on. You guys ready? Go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, all right, all right, those are done. Uh, 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 uh. All right, band rows or dumbbell rows, whatever you're doing. Let's go. Control. The negative portion, which is 
the lowering of the weight or the release of the band. So pull, release with control. Pull, release with control. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ha. Okay. All right. Now, these bands, they are so versatile, okay? I highly recommend that you get some, and I keep this one in my luggage all the time. So that way when we travel, I, got, I actually have a few pieces of things. I, I, have, I carry two bands and an ab wheel in my luggage at all times. So that way, anytime we travel, I always have workout gear, no matter where we're at, even though I usually have gyms that I could go to, I bring all that stuff just in case they don't have something that I need. I always have that, or if I have to work out in the hotel room, or if I have to work out outside, I always have something I can work out with, so that way I can keep my consistency up, because I work out seven days a week, right? So, they're not all, and with that said, I recommend you work out every day because you need to get your calories burned every day, get your muscles moving every day, get your endorphin high every day, but you're not going to be able to go beast mode every day, okay? I usually got about one or two days a week that are more like active recovery days, right? Where I'm not lifting crazy beast mode, just pumping weights, you know, maybe doing some light sprints or maybe like, a, you know, something that's not gonna really make you sore to make it's not even really to make progress it's just to get the blood flowing so that way your muscles can recover faster but you're not really going beast mode okay mine was yesterday I did it yesterday okay here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right. So we got a boogie. We got a boogie. Here's the next three. This vest, when you've been wearing it for a long period of time, it slowly wears you down. That's why I like it. Okay. Next three moves. Move one. We're gonna go an in, out, push up. So what this means is, you're gonna go in, out, push up. In, out, push up. Okay? Each one counts. We're gonna do 10. Move two. We're gonna go with your dumbbell again. We're gonna go single arm rows with no support, just like this. 10 each side. And then move three. If you don't have a vest, you're doing 20 of these. If you do have vests, just 10, okay? So we're gonna do squat jumps. So touch, jump, touch, jump, okay? Those are our three moves. Ready? We got a whole ass. Okay. Here we go. Ready? In, out, push. In, out, push. That's two. In, out, three. In, out, four. In, out, five. In, out, six. In, out, seven. In, out, eight. In, out, nine. In, out, ten. Woo! Yeah, buddy. 
Yeah, buddy. Let's roll. Let me move this camera up a little bit. That's too much. I don't even think I even changed it. Oh well. Trying to make it to where you can always see my pretty face. I hate to, you know, deprive you of that. So, whew, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, anytime we're doing anything bent over, stick your butt out like a stripper. You know what I'm talking about. Or just think, well, I don't want to say that. In case you got some kids watching this, never mind. Okay, squat jumps. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you don't have a best, go 20. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whew. Okay. Okay. Round two. Round two. Let's roll. Okay. In, out, one, in, out, two, in, out, three, in, out, four, in, out, five, in, out, six, in, out, seven, in, out, eight, in, out, nine, in, out, ten. Okay. Rose, let's go. Butt out like a stripper. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Jumps and then one water break. Okay, ready? Squat. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Get your butts down. Nine, ten. I don't want to see this. Okay, squat. No vest, keep going. Everybody else, get some water. Yeah, baby. Yeah. You're gonna feel so good after this workout. You're gonna feel so good. You're gonna get a great endorphin high. Just make sure you aren't eating like an asshole 
and voiding out all your hard work. Fitness is all diet, people. It's all diet. The only way you are going to get lean and stay lean is by dialing in your food. This is the only way. So all the stuff that you're avoiding, like tracking your calories, weighing your portions, tracking your food, guess what? That's the only way you're gonna get the body you want. The only way, okay? Okay, two more sets and then we're done today, okay? Push-ups first. Let's roll, bang these out. These are actually a lot harder than I thought they were gonna be. Especially with this vest on, okay? In, out, one, in, out, two, in, out, three, in, out, four, in, out, five, in, out, six, in, out, seven, in, out, eight, in, out, nine, in, out, ten. Ha! Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. 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 You ever see me working out in the gym? Or a thousand steps. I'm very vocal, as you could imagine. I cuss, scream, grunt, groan. I'm usually yelling at myself. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> okay, jumps. Jumps round three. One, squat down, two, squat down, three, squat down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going, no vest. Okay, one more set. And then we're done. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Running out of time. We gotta go. We gotta go. Dig down deep. Focus on why you're here. You need to think about the body that you want. Think about the body that you're working for and get to work developing it. Let's go. In, out, one, in, out, two, in, out, three, in, out, four, in, out, five, in, out, six, in, out, seven, in, out, eight, in, out, nine, in, out, ten. Hoo, hoo. Okay. Rose. Hoo. And done. Jumps and done. Whew. This time on this last set, I'm gonna do 20 jumps. 20 jumps. Do it with me. All of you. Ready? Go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Remember, whew, that's good work. Proud of you guys. Proud of you guys for tuning in. Proud of you guys for putting in the effort. Be proud of yourself. That's all you gotta do. Every day, show up, even when you don't want to. Even when you don't feel like it. You don't feel like getting out of bed, so what? Discipline your ass, get the hell up, and do what you're supposed to do. Because what you want, is only going to be achieved by putting in the work every single day. Every single day. I don't care how you feel. You're going to have more days that you feel tired, lazy like crap, lacking energy, not wanting to do it, then you are going to have good days where you feel good and want to, and want to actually do it. Right? You're going to have more bad days. So what? Discipline yourself, do what's required, put in the work, and in a matter of months, you'll start to get what you want. So remember, your nutrition is everything. All this is an absolute waste of time if your diet is not dialed in. Absolute waste of time, because you'll never get the body that you want unless those calories and those macros are dying. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. You guys have a great rest of your quarantine day. And eat clean, eat smart, take care of yourselves, go work on some personal development, improve yourselves. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>